Hi, this is my review of the Surf Roller Saddles for Fender Type Bridges. Uh, I got these on eBay. Uh, so first, the good news. Um, they range from like $8 to $18. Um, let's see. They set up great. The height screws set up great. My intonation set up fine. The screws and the springs were great. Um, the price was right. Um, I don't notice any like tone loss because it's made of cheaper materials maybe. Uh, this 2014 Mexican Strat. I got Texas Specials in it so it sounds killer anyway. I don't really didn't notice a difference in tone. Um, uh, now the bad. Uh, let's see. Well, also they're very comfortable. They 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 do uh, line up great. Uh, you know, obviously on the roller, it feels good against your hand. Is that's really smooth. Uh, so now the bad parts. Um, it's probably made from pot metal or recycled zinc or some re recycled metals from China. That's where it's coming from. That's why it's cheaper. Uh, so if, if you have hang-ups about cheaper materials, don't get them. Uh, also, I don't, they're not machined perfectly, meaning the saddles are fanning out. I don't know if I can see, you can see that. And if you look at the outside edge of my actual uh, bridge block, it's kind of fanning out. The original saddles with the fender chrome setup they were all machined perfectly so they lined up parallel with the outside uh, the guitar fetish uh, saddles that came with this black bridge that's an upgrade for mexican stretch those lined up great too i wasn't a fan of their uh, of their saddles because they don't have string guides on them and they'll line up wherever they want to they'll line up against a height screw post or they'll line up in the exact middle or left of middle or right or middle they'll line up anywhere they want to um, which I didn't like. I like a little groove in there so the you know there's a guide for the strings to line up. And these just aren't machined right. They they're fanning out, so they might be off by you know the edges of each saddle might be off a thousandth of a millimeter, but it'll add up. So they're not going to be perfectly parallel with the outside. So that's kind of a you know that's not great. You know. I, you want them to be perfectly parallel with your bridge because it looks better uh, and it shows that they're machined perfectly. They're all perfectly the same exact width, uh, but these appear that they aren't exactly the same width. Now, it could be due to powder coating them in the you know final stage, maybe, but you know they're cheaper. Uh, are they goodbye for the money? Yeah, but I, I am gonna upgrade these to Graph Tech. Um, only because I'm kind of anal like that. I want the best stuff on my guitars. Uh, I, I want them to have, you know, the absolute best. They're, they're, they're our babies and we should look after them. These are a great upgrade for a Squire. And, and they're great to check out for the price. Uh, but, you know, if, if you, you have uh, some, you know, the time or not a lot of time. But if you want to, you know, sand down the edges, file down the edges and get these perfect... That would be a great project. I think that it would be worth it. But overall, I'd probably give them like a C plus, just because of the the machining work and the, you know, the actual material itself. It's most likely pot metal and uh, a harder steel and you know stainless steel will probably resonate a little better. And so will the Graph Tex. Um, but that's it. So you can make up your own mind. For the money, I, I say it's a good buy. But you, you're getting what you pay for. A little, a little sloppy on the machine work. They, they're a little bit off. So uh, there it is. I didn't see any else posting about these uh, roller saddles. So I just wanted to let you know how it looked, what, what my thoughts are on it. Uh, again, probably like a C+. Not the worst, but obviously there are better ones in the market.